start gait training between parallel bars. So we will teach the patient all the activities between the bars. Once the patient masters this, then we will do the activities using crutches, but still between the parallel bars, so the patient can um, uh, lean on the bars if they need it. And finally, we will move to training with crutches outside the parallel bars. So first, the patient is sitting um, next to the parallel bars, and of course here we will remove the leg rests, put on the brakes, and uh, sit at the edge of the chair. First, to come to stand, the patient will start by uh, pulling on the um, uh, parallel bars to come to stand. This is the easiest way to stand, but you can do it, okay? Of course, with this we are relying on the stability of the parallel bars, but for the future, we need to teach the patient to come to stand while, um, uh, so come closer first to the parallel bars. Okay. Okay. And now put on the brakes or the brakes on. Okay. And now push on the handles of the chair and then move to the uh, parallel bars. Okay. And then come to stand. Of course, the lock of the careful. Um, automatically, the hinge automatically locks when the patient comes to standing. Now, um, the patient will learn to stand uh, the proper standing position. So move forward, please. Just so we can see it clearly. Okay, you can stop here. So when standing between the um, parallel bars, the patient has the uh, legs, legs at uh, some distance apart and um, like um, a shoulder width apart and then um, they are uh, leaning backwards so they are relying on the hip ligaments and um, the legs are kept in extension by the calf. We will start with static standing balance by teaching the patient to release one hand off and then move it back and then the other hand and move it back and then to teach them to release both hands off the bars and then moving them back and keeping their balance. After doing this and being able to maintain the balance, we will move to weight shifting in standing. And in this one, we will teach the patient to do weight shifts sideways first because that's the easy one between the parallel bars, okay, and come back. And then do forward or backward and especially for the forward, the patient will not be able to lean forward a lot. They need to move back because if they move forward um, anteriorly at a large distance, then they might fall forward in what we call jackknifing. So we need to protect this, uh, the patient from this. So we do weight shifting. After that, the patient needs to learn to do push-ups. So they need to push on the parallel bars and lift their legs off the ground. Okay. Now, some patients might use the head-hip relationship here by ducking the head down to lift the pelvis. Okay. And next, we will start to do the um, gait training patterns. So, we will do swing through pattern or, or the four-point gait. Actually, let's start with four-point gait because it's the slowest but the most stable pattern. So, with four-point gait, the patient will uh, move one arm forward and then move one leg forward, the opposite leg. Now, move the other arm and then the other leg. Okay? So, this is the four-point gait. It is very slow but a very stable uh, gait pattern to start with. Once the patient masters this, then we will do swing through pattern. So for swing through, this will rely on the push up that we just learned. So the patient will do a move the uh, both arms forward and then do a push up and with the head hip relationship, advance their legs forward. So moving the head back. Okay, so a push up. Okay, and this is swing through.